So we're actually going to talk some football. Eric Gilbert, there's a there's a, a name from the past there. He spent uh, all of about four weeks as a Florida Gator, but I don't think he ever stepped on campus. He certainly never caught a pass. Uh, nope. So his 35 catches from LSU, may he may be able to add on to that. So do we know something there? You know, I from a variety of sources within LSU, because I heard it from one person, I was like, okay, I'm not going to buy it from just one, so i got to go to at least four here. You know, usually it's three sources I'm good with something. I, it's pretty much basically confirmed as long as those are reliable, which I don't waste my time with anyone who's not. Uh, so I went with four. And that fourth source is a parent of an LSU Tiger who is very close to Eric's family. And, and they said there's a full court press going on towards Eric Gilbert. LSU wants to get Eric Gilbert back on campus. But they're not willing to, to break up the locker room continuity to do that. They're not willing to, to bow down to w a weird set of demands, which I am not able to confirm. But supposedly, I've, I've heard from my, my buddies at One Team One Podcast that he uh, issued a, a set of demands um, to come back onto the team. I have not uh, heard of that. I am not sure of that. I, I've been looking into that, can't find anything about it, but his grades are very bad. He's got a 1.0 GPA, and um, I feel like he might have to go to ju you know, junior college route first just to get back here. Um, I know LSU will do almost about anything to get him back on campus, as long as it will retain that harmony within the locker room, the harmony on campus, that, that continuity within the team, but they're not going to break the bank. They're not going to. They're not going to go Alabama just to get Eric Gilbert here. But you know, we're hearing a lot of interesting uh, rumors and, and whispers about Eric Gilbert. Must we take a shot at Alabama? I know. What would what would my appearances be without a shot with, at Alabama, Mark? Come on. Well, you know, I hear about that then. If, if we have unsubstantiated, uh, you know, derogatory uh, comments to make about Alabama, then, you know. Hey, if we're supposed to believe Rush Probst. Uh, I'm not supposed to believe him. I know, I know, I know. I'm, I'm a little hesitant to believe him as well. It was very interesting to hear what he had to say, though. But I wouldn't doubt it. Exactly. But I don't believe him, necessarily believe him, but I also don't doubt it. Yeah, and, and the source has to be a little question there, considering what Rush Probst just got in trouble for. Sure. And, you know, it's yeah. like, Rush, you're, you're kind of a little talking a little out of uh, turn there, buddy. I kind of liken it to Jose Canseco when he yes. you know, broke out all the, the steroids uh, allegations, and everybody said, well, that's Jose Canseco. Who could believe him? Well, all turned out to be true. Yeah. Who, who, who knows steroids better than Jose Canseco? <laughs> But oh, yeah, yeah, LSU, uh, LSU looking like they're in the mix for Gilbert and it's looking interesting. I don't, here's the thing. I'm going to make a wager that I don't expect him to return to LSU this year, but if he can get his grades up, if he can get, you know, the, the talk that's swirling around him about his mental illnesses, about all this stuff, I, I don't, I'm not sure about any of that being true or not. I don't, I don't think Eric Gilbert has a mental illness, but if he does, I hope he gets the help he, he, he seeks, the help he needs. And I feel like if Eric Gilbert can get back to that, to that level where he feels comfortable in his own skin, I feel like he comes back to LSU. I don't see any other school he would want to be at. Um, I know his mom would love him to come back to LSU as well. But, you know, still up in the air, still, still uh, a lot in play. I would like to know what kind of rock star demands we're talking about. Are we talking about a certain – uh, brand of flavored water at the locker or, you know, all types of M&Ms minus take out all the green ones or, yeah, you know, take you out all the brown all these crazy demands. The, the Van Halen uh, request, take out all the brown M&Ms. Actually, he, I think it was $100,000 supposedly, some type of car um, and a few other things. I think um, one of those included no drug tests, but I really think that that, I heard that from a pretty accurate source, but I'm just, it just seems so outrageous that I have to just kind of just, everyone who just heard what I just said about Eric Gilbert and those demands, just take a step back and research that and make sure we can confirm that before that's true. Because I'm telling you right now, it's not 100% true. I need to figure it out if it is, but supposedly he's issued some demands, but 
Still haven't confirmed that. 